So Iron Man um, is an amazing event. I can tell you with 100% accuracy that everybody that crosses that finish line is different, uh, very different than when they started. Um, I did Iron Man Louisville my first race. Uh, it was in the middle of summer, August. Louisville is known for somewhat warm temperatures and this was a brutal day. It got up to 96 degrees that day and to ride 112 miles in 96 degree heat uh, is incredible. Um, 3,000 people started, only about 2,200 finished, so they had 800 people drop out. 50% of the pros dropped out that year. Um, I actually had a stomach flu the day before, so I was dehydrated and about three hours into the bike, my stomach shut down. And what's very important in Ironman is you're going for 10, 12, 14 hours, you need to eat, you need to drink, and I wasn't able to do that. Uh, so I was getting slower and slower on the bike, and um, about halfway through the marathon, I stopped. I had about eight to nine friends there, and they're screaming at me, and I just couldn't go on any further. And um, a group of them literally came up to me, and you're not allowed to touch the runner, but they were shouting, get up, you've trained too hard, you've come too far, you've worked too long not to do this. And so I. Uh, started running again, and interestingly enough, running felt better than walking. And at that point, I drew upon mental strength that I absolutely never knew I had. And I can't tell you exactly what, other than I thought, how would I feel if I didn't finish this race after 10 months of training, after hundreds of people at home following me online, after four of my employees rented an RV and drove to the race just to watch me race when I was a four of my staffers and I had about eight other people out there watching and I just could not bear the thought of saying I didn't finish. Um, I've done 32 triathlons, I've never spoke DNF, did not finish, I have never DNF, I've always crossed the finish line. Um, so with that, um, just some amazing uh, motivation came and I drew strength from areas which I didn't know and I started running again and uh, finished with about 45 minutes to spare. You have 17 hours to finish the race and I was able to cross the finish line um, and it's humorous, I was dehydrated, I was exhausted, and I don't drink any alcohol about six months out from the race, and the first thing I did, rather than a recovery drink, rather than water, uh, I had a couple of employees waiting with a shot of scotch for me, so <laughs> probably not the best thing to do, but I said, I deserve this. I did my scotch, I sat down and started hydrating, but um, it was just an incredible, emotional, life-changing experience to know that I had something in me that I never knew I had. Yes, so I have a, a mantra. Um, it started out with my racing, and it's how I approach racing it immediately. Okay, here comes Roscoe. Come on up. He's going to come up. Roscoe has not done triathlon, triathlons yet, but he's very interested. Okay, he might just stay there. Um, four words uh, 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 faith, pace, focus, and strength. And I use them when I train. Um, faith in my training, so when I show up at a race, I'm not nervous. Most people are milling around worried about the swim. I'm very relaxed because I know I've put in the time. Uh, I have the fortune to be a good swimmer, but even so, two and two, almost two and a half miles is, is like I said, formidable. Um, uh, faith, so I, I trust, you know, I've done the training, I can get through the race. Um, pace, it is a very long day, and if you're like me, uh, excitable, maybe a little bit aggressive, maybe a little bit um, competitive. I want to go out fast and I have to concentrate very, very hard to keep my pace. I'm watching my watch, I'm watching my heart rate, making sure I'm not going too quickly because even on a good day I might have a 14-hour race. Um, focus, again, for someone who's a marginally ADD like I am, to stay focused on something, but when I'm on the bike, and it's mile 80 and I still have 32 miles to go and my legs are hurting and my back hurts. Uh, I'm not thinking about the marathon. The marathon doesn't exist. I'm focused on the bike. I'm focused on nutrition every 15 minutes. I'm focused on keeping my heart rate where it's supposed to be, not too high, not too low. And then uh, this is the smiling part of that, the strength. At some point, faith, pace, and focus, you have to throw them out the window because you're sick of them and you just have to rely on your mental strength. And after that first race, um, it's amazing how I can draw upon that mental strength now and tell my legs, I know you're hurting, we're all hurting, we're not stopping, tell my back, we're going to get stretched, you're going to feel better when you start running. Um, and then I always have people out of the race for me and that's probably the most important part, most amazing is, is he 
hearing the stories of where many of these folks come from. Um, even you, coming to the U.S., barely speaking any English at all, teaching yourself English and being as incredibly successful as you are. Um, the drive, the strength, the faith, the the focus that these women have is just inspirational and it just makes me um, that more honored to be able to be part of this and contribute in the best way I know how. Uh, in this case, torturing my body and raising money, but also providing my time and my guidance and whatever else help I can do.